You just absolutely adore the outdoors. What is it about it? Well, it's everything. You've got rocks, you've got marvellous trees, you've got undulations. The sky itself is never the same. Just look at it today. But I always looked beyond the mountains for what it was giving me in the way of bird life, flowers, and the people. I always wanted to talk to people, not necessarily mountaineers, but people who lived amongst the hills. I got something from them. I think that's a lovely way to put it. You always look beyond the mountain. You always try and see what else there is out there, as you say, in terms of just nature and what's around you. Oh, of course, yes. It and wasn't also, so much the challenge of the climb. And also, it was also very good to meet men who were not mountaineers, but men who loved the mountains too. You have climbed some amazing mountains here in Scotland. You've also climbed in Europe. You've climbed in Nepal, the Himalayas. Very, very challenging mountains, and yet you, you always return home. What is it about Scotland that brings you back? Well, that's your home. <laughs> you can go away, but you always like to come back. Do you think it's fair to say that Tom Weir is a Scottish institution? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I haven't died of it yet, anyway. Now you've enjoyed a level of fitness that people half your age would be pleased to have. Mm -hmm. That's good, it's good luck. Oh, it's more than good luck. When I get up in the morning, to me it's another day to be made the most of. I can honestly say I'm never fed up. Is there anything that you would change? Not really. I like to do it all again, but you can't kind of rise back again. You can't suddenly become a young man if you're an old one. <laughs> That's a problem. I think as long as I'm able, I'll be discovering something. It's in the blood. <laughs>